Good day everyone, I am Christian B. Martin, a first year civil engineering student from University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines. Today, I am going to shoot a video tutorial about how to write Gothic small letters. This is in partial fulfillment for our subject engineering drawings and plans with architect Angelet Monsanto as our instructor. So to start this instructional video, I will first introduce to you the materials to be used for this plate. So first, of course, we have this drawing sheet. So this drawing sheet is the standard format drawing sheet given by our instructor, architect Angelet Monsanto. And of course, the pencils, the 2H and HB pencil. The 2H is for the thin lines and the HB pencil is for the thicker lines. Next, we have these uh, rulers and we have the, of course, the T-square. And next, we have this eraser in case we have to erase something and the sharpener for us to sharpen the pencils. And lastly, this compass to create or to uh, for us to achieve a perfect uh, circles. But since uh, this compass doesn't fit my pencil, so I have to use an alternative when creating a circle. So uh, I will use this cup to achieve perfect circles. But rest assured that you will be seeing how how to, to form the letters in a proper way. For us to achieve a lesser time in creating grid lines, I already made one. And as you can see, this is bigger uh, plate for the viewers to see how it should be created or to have a bigger uh, view for the whole uh, duration. Spacing of the grid lines from the borders must be 1 cm each and the spaces of the grid lines must be 0.5 cm. Letter A is drawn the same way on what is shown in the picture. First semicircle on the left, then second semicircle on the right, then last drawn is the straight line. For letter B, the first drawn is the straight line, then second is the first semicircle on the left, then third is the second semicircle on the right. C is a bit different from letters A and B just as shown in the picture. Letter D is opposite of letter B. First drawn is the semicircle on the left, then second is the semicircle on the right, and the last drawn is the straight line. Letter E is just the same with letter C, but they vary because it has a straight line to the tip of its top point from the curved line. A straight line is first drawn in letter F and a hook-like figure is second drawn just as shown in the picture. And the last drawn is a horizontal line from left to right. Using this cup, letter G is drawn just as the same with the circles of letter A, B, and D. A straight line is then followed going downwards. Then lastly is its hook-like figure below. H H is drawn with a vertical line going downwards. 
from the vertical line, measure 5 spaces, and from it, an alternate U-shaped line is drawn. Small letter I is just simply a vertical line going downwards, and its dot is represented with a vertical line in a very small space. Letter J is drawn in a single stroke, but for us to achieve its perfect straight line, we have to use the ruler. Its dot is the same with the dot of letter I. Writing letter K is quite different from the other letters. We have to make sure that we have clearly copied what is depicted on the picture. First drawn is its vertical line going downward. Second is its slanting on the upper corner. And lastly is its slanting on its lower corner. L is just simply a vertical line going downward. Letter M is drawn in three easy steps. First is its vertical line. Second is an alternate U-shape occupying four spaces. And the third is the same with the second step. N is the same with the first two steps of letter M, but it occupies five spaces. To achieve a perfect circle for letter O, we will use this cup. First drawn is a semicircle on the left, then a semicircle on the right. For letter P, First drawn is a vertical line going downwards, and the last preceding steps is just the same on how we wrote letter O. While Q is the opposite of letter P, first drawn is the circle, and lastly is its vertical line going downward. Letter S is different. We have to write it in freehand. Just make sure that you have copied clearly what is in the picture. For letter T, it's just a vertical line going downward and a straight horizontal line from left to right. Letter U is just complete alternate of letter N. It occupies five spaces just as shown in the picture. Letter V is two opposite slanting lines that meet in the center. Double U is written in two letter Vs, but it occupies seven spaces in total. For letter X, a slanting line going to the right first and a slanting line going to the left is second. Small letter Y is almost the same with letter V, but its second slanting is extended just as shown in the picture. Lastly, for small letter Z, a horizontal line is written first from left to right, then a slanting line going to the left, then another horizontal line from left to right. So that would be all for this instructional video. I hope you learned something. I know this is not perfect, but with persistent practice and effort, it leads to perfection. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe.